Afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron takes pleasure in performing for you this, our first flight demonstration of the 2022 season. I'm Lieutenant Griffin Stengel, narrator for the Blue Angels. The Blue Angel Maintenance Group and their equipment travel aboard a United States Marine Corps C-130 Super Hercules, affectionately known as Fat Albert. It is the large blue and white aircraft taking its position on the runway to your left. Today, Fat Albert will be demonstrating the high-performance climb capability of the Lockheed Martin C-130 Super Hercules. On the runway from the left, Fat Albert will soon be rolling. They'll accelerate to 125 miles per hour, perform a low transition, and execute a high-performance climb, placing the aircraft in a 45-degree nose-up attitude. Mo, no, Winsley, run them up. Sir, Mo, no, I winds are calm. We on the airfield and airspace. You are clear to take off. Have a good one. Thanks, Mo, Winsley, to fire it up for any of those intro. Hey, Rob, record. Super five, fellas. Be low line check with high protection panel set. Three lights are set. EP control switch stop. I have that on transmit. Eight uh, guys check right. Check left. Spot to review. Complete. Four check out checklist complete. Power. top speed of 375 miles per hour and at altitudes as high as 35,000 feet. They say let's go go. Captain Strike is now positioning Fat Albert for a low altitude high speed pass. From the left at 370 miles per hour, the Fat Albert flat pass. Is 
South America, Africa, Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. Hi, and to the left, Captain Stripe will establish Fat Albert on a very steep approach angle, simulating landing in mountainous terrain or a hostile environment. To demonstrate the short field landing capability of the C-130, they will touch down and immediately reposition the propellers to full reverse, stopping the aircraft in just 1,500 feet. You will notice that not only can the aircraft stop quickly, but it can also produce enough thrust to taxi backwards.
force of gravity as they perform this movement. Two solo pilots. Approaching center point, Lieutenant Commander Rickoff and Lieutenant Commander Brad will roll their aircraft to 90 degrees angle of bank and push forward on the stick as they perform the opposing knife edge pass. Kesselring's command. All three pilots will simultaneously roll their aircraft 360 degrees as they perform the diamond aileron roll. Here's Captain Kesselring. Yeah. 
Characteristics of the F-18. Captain Kesselring has called for the extension of the landing gear and tail hooks by the three diamond pilots as they execute a maneuver performed by no other jet demonstration team in the world today. From the left, the diamond dirty loop. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the opposing horizontal rolls. have established a left echelon formation. Approaching center point, Captain Kesselring will roll the formation 360 degrees into the two wingmen. Over the top, the three diamond pilots will showcase their precision formation flight as they make a subtle modification while in the inverted position. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Angel changeover roll. has joined the diamond in a line of breast formation. Still maintaining the <laughs> will next demonstrate precision roll rate control. Approaching center point, they will roll their aircraft 360 degrees, pausing after each 90 degrees of rotation, crossing center point in the inverted position. Ladies and gentlemen, the opposing four point hesitation roll. demonstrate the impressive pitch rate of the F-18. Crossing center point, they'll execute a maximum performance climb with a split S reversal, bringing their aircraft back over to show center. Oh, man. 
cruise and perform a split S, finishing with a dynamic separation maneuver. accelerates to 500 miles per hour. They will perform a reversal turn back towards the flight line. You should be able to follow their individual smoke trails as all three aircraft converge on center point with maximum closure and minimum separation. producing 126,000 pounds of thrust.
early November. The Blue Angels will perform 65 flight demonstrations this season while visiting 32 cities throughout the United States. The next portion of our flight demonstration will showcase all five aircraft flying together in formation. The Blue Angel Delta has been our signature five plane formation since 1958. Behind the crowd to the right, the two solo pilots have joined the dive and have been able to maintain in position as they roll 360 degrees over center floor. <laughs> Captain Kesselring brings the formation back towards the flight line. Very shortly, all five aircraft will be approaching for the Blue Angel, Fleur de Lis. In an aerial salute to our forward deployed forces. All five aircraft will separate, perform individual 360 degree rolls, and the three diamond pilots will rendezvous through a looping maneuver. From the left, at 450 miles per hour, the Blue Angel, Fleur de Lis. Let's listen in. Yeah. As Captain Kesselring calls, smoke on. Ready, break. Thank 
aircraft accelerates to 500 miles per hour, they will perform a half Cuban A reversal tour. As they pull up and over the top, you should be able to follow their individual smoke trails as all five pilots simultaneously roll their aircraft 180 degrees and head back towards show center. From five different directions with maximum closure and minimum separation, they will converge on center point and cross with a combined closure rate of nearly 1,000 miles per hour. Approaching center point, the entire formation will separate in dramatic fashion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Angel Delta Breakout. naval aviators is that they be able to land their aircraft on a ship at sea. Whether it be a tactical jet, a propeller-driven aircraft, or a helicopter, each requires skill which the naval aviator must master. In order to perfect this skill, Navy and Marine Corps pilots spend a great deal of time in the landing pad of practicing carrier approaches. In front of you now, Captain Kesselring and his wingman have demonstrated a simulated carrier pattern. Approaching the runway from the left, Captain Kesselring is confirming that the landing checks have been completed and that each aircraft is in fact ready to land. Rolling out on final, they make constant power and lineup corrections, maintaining the optimum rate of descent for the proper touchdown point. 